If you're the kind of person who's always wondered what's inside a computer, then this is the video for you. What we're going to do here is open up a machine and look at the seven major components that you find inside. The motherboard is the heart of the computer. Every part either sits on the motherboard or connects to it in some way. In this machine, this big red rectangle is the motherboard. The CPU is the central processing unit. It's the brain of the computer. It runs the software and processes the data that you're working on. In this machine, like most, the CPU sits under a big heat sink and fan, as you see here. The people who design CPU chips often leave behind pictures or sayings on the surface of the chip. They're incredibly tiny. You have to use a microscope to see them. But like the Easter eggs in a video game, they're there to amuse and surprise other people. The RAM is the random access memory, and it sits right on the motherboard. It holds the data in the software that you're currently running. On most motherboards, you'll find one, two, or four banks of RAM. Adding RAM to your machine is a really simple way to speed it up. This is what a stick of memory looks like. To add it to your machine, just find an open slot on your motherboard and slide it right in. This is the video card, and it connects to the motherboard with a special video card slot. The video card creates the images that appear on your monitor. Most motherboards accept either an AGP or a PCI Express video card. Serious gamers will upgrade their video cards every three to six months to get the best performance. The latest thing is to have two or even four video cards in a single machine. The power supply usually sits at the top of the case, and surprisingly, it supplies the power that the computer needs. All these different wires that you see in the case are coming from the power supply. A high-end machine can burn up to 800 watts. If you left that machine on 24 hours a day for a year, it might cost $700 just to run it. That's as much as some people spend on a whole machine. This is the hard disk. It holds your information even when the power's off. When you turn the power on, your software and data loads from the hard disk into the RAM. If you've got an old machine that you're ready to donate or recycle, it contains a lot of personal information. Deleting the files is not enough because someone with the right software can undelete those files. If you want to truly erase your data, you've got to destroy the drive. This is the optical drive. It sits in the front bay of your computer, and it uses a laser to read or write CDs and DVDs. CDs and DVDs can take an incredible amount of abuse. The one thing they can handle is deep scratches. To protect your data, always keep them in a sleeve or a case. So there you have it. Those are the seven major components that you'll find in any normal PC.